The first thing I do when I work, can I tell you what, what the fishing I do when I work on the process? Yes, I would love to hear that. We, we do this song without the line reading, so to speak, without the music. I have the, We work on the song as, as a monologue. Of course, this, I'm not the only person on earth to, to come up with this idea. But I have a particular series of steps that I put them through to work on the monologue. Decisions to make about who you're talking to, where you are, what the objective is, what the obstacle is. All kinds of stuff. And that's the bulk of the work, is working on the song as a monologue. It's really like a straight acting class. And we get the, we get the, we get the monologue on its, the song slash monologue on its feet without the music. Fully alive, fully rehearsed, fully ready to go. Stage worthy. And then what we do is we start adding one after the other. We add the elements of the music as part of the line reading. So the first thing we add is the rhythm. So what we do is we do the song and the monologue. But we have to do it in the rhythm that the composer said it. Any word that's going to be, any note that you're going to hold, hold out, you hold it out in the monologue with the rhythm. You have, the, you have the, the music play on the piano and you speak it in the rhythm that the composer has decided for you. And this is, this is a, a really breakthrough step. Because usually people feel really ridiculous when they do this. Because it's a, it becomes an extremely expressive, strangely expressive way of speaking. And I say, choose the rhythm. Choose the rhythm. Make it your own. Make that rhythm your choice. Let the rhythm help you make your points. Any word that you're going to stretch out, you stretch it out in, the, in this part of the work. With, a, with, a, with an emotional reason underneath it. Because in life, I've, I've watched this all the time, I've watched this for years. In life, when people, when, the, when things get really cooking emotionally in a person's life, they do, they do crazy things with their language, with their voice, with words. They stretch words out, they go to parts of their voice, high and low pitches, if you will that they wouldn't go through in normal, casual conversation. And that's what a song is. A song is a person in a highly charged emotional situation trying to get a job done. But it's embarrassing for people. They resist doing it because it's embarrassing. And I always say you must embarrass yourself. You must reveal in your work your deepest, darkest sometimes self, the way you deal with issues. Meisner, Sanford Meisner, the great acting teacher, called act, one of the ways he described acting was he called it public solitude. You're in public having an audience watch you, but you're behaving as if you're alone, as if nobody's watching you, as if you have no shame, and you're just revealing who you are, you're letting people see into you, watch you be real. So that's what I say, that's what a song is, when I, when I work with actors, I say, let's, let us watch you be real in this situation. Let's get a setup going where there's a problem that you have to solve. That's a basic thing. Every song you sing, there's a problem to be solved by singing this song. By singing this song, I am solving a problem. I never put it that way, but I like that. By singing this song, I am solving a problem in my life or my character's life. And there's a whole layer then that I haven't even talked about, about making this song personal. About choosing things in your imagination, set up, setting up an imaginary situation, using things that really matter to you, the people that matter to you, the issues that matter to you. I always say, you have to know who you would kill for, who you would die for. You have to know who you would like to push down the steps, who you who'd like who you'd like to make love to, who you'd like to smack. Know what the issues are in your life that, that really matter to you. And start to build those into your imaginary world. Use those as the as the groundwork for your life. So it's you up there. The character is based has to be based in your own reality, in your own life. you you have to know who you are, what who, what you, what your own psyche. And that's what you tap into. Otherwise, you're doing a cliché, you're working out of your head. I don't want you to work out of your head. I want them to work out of their hearts and out of their guts and be real up there. That's what a great singer does in my book.